French President Francois Hollande has promised to turn the country's stagnant economy around by 2014. The pledge made to the nation in a primetime television interview on Sunday comes four months into his presidency, with critics accusing him of procrastination since his election. Well, Hollande outlined a series of measures, including spending cuts and savings totaling 30 billion euros in 2013. He said the government would lower its growth forecast for next year to just 0.8%. That's down from 1.2% plus a planned 75% upper tax rate on the super-rich could be dropped after two years. So will Hollande's socialist government deliver? Well, the French central bank has just confirmed the economy will contract by 0.1% in the third quarter of this year. Philip Hampshire has more on the president's controversial tax plans. Elected just four months ago, one of his most high-profile campaign pledges was for a 75% tax on those earning more than a million euros. While the details of this have remained vague, Hollande insisted it will be put in place. Even so, he referred to it as a symbolic policy, saying it may only last until the recovery picks up in perhaps two years' time. In the meantime, though, voters are already losing patience with the new president. His approval ratings recently dropped below 50%. He's asked for more time. I understand those who are impatient, but I cannot do in four months what my predecessors did not do for five or ten years. I consider myself in fighting mode. French President François Hollande has given himself two years to turn round France's economy as he outlined a raft of austerity measures. In the country's toughest budgetary programme in six decades, he included a controversial 75% tax on the rich, along with spending cuts and other taxes totalling 30 billion euros. During a television interview, he said it was an agenda for recovery. Hollande is facing an uphill struggle. The French economy has stalled and unemployment is running at around 10%, and since his election four months ago, his popularity has begun to slide. With layoffs due from restructuring plans at large French companies and government pressure being brought to bear on trade unions over changes to the labour market, it's not sure how much the French public will accept. This contribution of the recovery agenda, which I have said, and I think we will achieve it in two years' time. And from then on, we won't have to keep this contribution, but it's very important to have it.